Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to derive the mean, the variance, and the moment genetic function for the geometric distribution. As you can see here, the probability mass function for the geometric distribution is probability of x equals to x given the parameter p is equal to p times 1 minus p is to x minus 1, where this probability mass function is defined from x equals 1 to infinity. So now, let's derive the mean mean is equal to expectation of x and expectation of x is equal to summation of x times the probability mass function which is this one so we have p times 1 minus p raised to x minus 1 this is x equals 1 to infinity so we have x equals 1 to infinity now in order to simplify this let us recall the formula for the sum of uh, infinite geometric progression. We know that uh, A plus A times R plus A times uh, R squared plus, so we have infinite series here. So R is a ratio from the uh, succeeding term over the preceding term. And this is writable in terms of summation rotation, the summation of a r is to k this is k equals to zero to infinity when k equals to zero r is to zero is one so we have a and then progresses infinitely and we know that this is equal to a over one minus r so now let's differentiate both sides with r we'll get let me rewrite it in here a R k k equals to zero to infinity dr is equal to uh, derivative of a over one minus r over dr. So to make it clear, we know that derivative of a sum of a variable, let's say y plus z. Um, let's say this is so these two variables is a function of r and this one dr is equal to dy over dr plus dz over dr. It means that the derivative of the sum is equal to the sum of the derivative. So we can interchange the summation and the derivative. So we have summation of derivative of a r is okay over dr. And this is k equals to 0 to infinity. And also for this one, we know that uh, a over 1 minus r is equal to a times 1 minus r is to negative 1. And the derivative of that is derivative of a over 1 minus r. This is equal to negative 1 times a is negative a, 1 minus r. And negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And the derivative of uh, 1 minus r inside uh, here is negative 1 dr. So derivative of a over 1 minus r over dr is equal to negative a 1 minus r negative 2. Or this is negative 1 times negative 1, so we have positive. Then this is a over 1 minus r squared. Now this is a over 1 minus r squared. Now for this one, we have k times a, we have a summation of um, a, k, r k minus 1 and this is k equals to 0 to infinity so this is a over 1 minus r raised to 2 so now if you compare this one with our here variable here so they are almost same let us see it more clearly let uh, have the x as k let um, k 
equals to x and for r let us have r is equal to 1 minus p 1 minus p a equals to p so we have summation of p times k is x and r is 1 minus p uh, k is x minus 1 k equals to x equals to 0 then infinity then this is equal to p over r is 1 minus p so 1 minus uh, 1 minus p and third so if you compare this one and this one they are same except this x equals 0 but when x equals 0 this whole there will become 0 so it is safe to change this one x equals 0 to x equals 1 because at x equals 0 this whole table will become 0 anyway so if you compare this one to this one they are same except that p and x are interchanged but there's no problem with that so we can have the mean for this one so we have mean we can now have mean which is equal to this one and let's uh, simplify this as p over 1 minus 1 minus p is let me write it here this is equal to 1 minus 1 plus p and cancel we have p so we have a p squared so our mean is equal to 1 over p we're now ready for our derivation of our variance before doing that i have provided here the results from our derivation of mean we have mean and we have here sum of the infinite progression and when we differentiate both sides we have this formula here so now let us have the variance variance is equal to originally this is expectation of x minus expectation of x and this is squared and we have another formula which is expectation of x squared minus square of expectation of x now we need a formula for our variance with the term expectation of x times x minus 1 and this one we can have a variance with this formula if we try to distribute x with x minus 1 we have expectation of x squared minus x and the expectation of this one is expectation of x squared minus expectation of x then we can have expectation of x squared by rearrangement we have equal to expectation of x times x minus 1 plus when we put this one to the left side but here we are in the right side we have plus expectation of x and if we try to, to substitute our expectation of x squared which is this one in here we have variance is equal to expectation of x times x minus 1 plus expectation of x then here minus expectation of square of expectation of x we know expectation of x which is our mean and the square of expectation of x is square of our mean now what we're gonna do is to derive first this term let us have expectation of x times x minus 1 this is equal to by definition this is summation of x times x minus 1 and our probability mass function which is this one p times 1 minus p raised to x minus 1 and this is x plus 1 to infinity so we have x plus 1 to infinity so now in order to um, 
simplify this we have here our formula from the differentiation of uh, the sum of infinite progression that we have derived from our derivation of mean let me write it in here summation of a k r is to k minus 1 from k equals 1 to infinity this is equal to a over 1 minus r squared so what we're gonna do is to differentiate them again so let us have a derivative of this one over dr so we have here differentiate this one over dr so this one is we're gonna put our derivative inside the summation we have summation of of a uh, derivative of a k r k minus 1 over dr this is k equals 1 to infinity and for this one a over 1 minus r squared this is equal to a times 1 minus r is to negative 2 and if we differentiate them 1 minus r I'll say squared this is equal to negative 2 times a is negative 2a times 1 minus r then it will become 9 is 3 because negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 and the derivative of 1 minus r is so we have negative 1 times dr so we have for this one is equal to so we have here we have here negative so negative times negative we have 2 a over 1 minus r raised to 3 so now for this one we have k minus 1 times k we have um, a k times k minus 1 this r then have k minus k minus 1 minus 1 is k minus 2 so this one is still summation and this is k equals 1 to infinity this is equal to 2 to a over 1 minus r raised to 3 if we compare this one to this they are they are almost same let me show it to you let um, k is equal to x and for our r this is equal to we have 1 minus p and for our a we have our p now let's do the transformation this is summation of p and we have k is x and k minus 1 is x minus 1 and we have r is 1 minus p and k minus 2 is x minus 2 and this is k we have x equals 1 to infinity and this is equal to 2p over 1 minus 1 minus p this is raised to 3 now if we compare this one to this uh, they are almost same if we just put p in here after the x minus 1 and we have here 1 minus p but here it is x minus 1 but here this is x minus 2 but we can factor out this term here into a term with uh, x minus 1 by doing that we have x minus 1 then we have here 1 minus p and this is negative 1 because x minus 1 plus negative 1 is x minus 2 and this 1 minus p with negative 1 here is a constant that can be moved out from the summation so let's do that in order to have a better simplification we have 1 minus p this is summation of let me move this p 
up 3x minus 1, x times x minus 1, and p we have here. What we're left with is this one because we move out this one from the summation. We have 1 minus p is to x minus 1, and this is x plus 1 until infinity. And this is equal to 2 raised to p over, we know 1 minus 1 minus p is 1 minus 1 minus p is equal to 1 minus p plus p, and this is equal to 0, then we have p. So we have p raised to 3, and we can uh, factor out 3 to become 2. Now this one is same with this one. So we have now expectation of x. So we can move out 1 minus p in here. So we have expectation of this is uh, expectation of x times x minus 1 based on the formula in here. Now, expectation of x times x minus 1 is equal to 2 times 1 minus p over p squared. Now for our variance, so we have that formula here. Here, here, here our formula. Let me write it in here. Uh, is equal to expectation of This is plus expectation of x minus square of expectation of x, which is um, this one. And we have the expectation of x times x minus 1 is equal to 2 times 1 minus p over p squared. And for the expectation of x, we have our mean, which is this one, 1 over p. So we have. 1 over p, and this one, square of 1 minus p is 1 over p squared. Now we can simplify it by having a common denominator p squared, p squared, and this one is retained numerator, 1 minus p, and this one, when we multiply both numerator and denominator with p, so we have p squared, but here at the numerator we have p, and this is minus 1. So let me simplify it. 2 times 1, 1 minus p is 2 minus 2p plus p minus 1 over p squared. So this is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 1 and negative 2p plus p is minus p over p squared. So this is our variance. Let's now derive our moment generating function for this geometric distribution. Our moment generating function is equal to expectation of e raised to tx. And expectation of e raised to tx is equal to summation of e raised to tx times the probability mass function, which is this one, p times 1 minus p raised to x minus 1. This is x equals 1 to infinity, so we have x equals 1 to infinity. Now, I want to collect common, common powers of x, but here we have here x and we have x minus 1 here. We can factor out this term into 1 minus p raised to x and 1 minus p raised to negative 1 because x plus negative 1 is x minus 1. And we can move out this constant here from the summation and also p from the summation because they are constants so we have equal to p for this one and for this one 1 minus p and we have summation of we have e raised to tx let me write it in here first and this is x equals 1 to infinity now I can now collect common powers of x. So we will have p over 1 minus p summation of e raised to t 1 minus p raised to x and this is x equals 1 to infinity. 
So if you compare this one to here, it seems that we can do now the transformation because if we take a equals 1 and this whole thing as r and x equals k, then we can, we can have this one, this term like this, without the summation. But if you compare, this is k equals 0, but this is x equals 1. So we need a form that we have k equals 1 in here. So this one also can be equal to, we can evaluate uh, this one when k equals 0. So we can have r raised to 0 is 1. So we have a plus summation of a r raised to k. This is k equals 1 to infinity. Now we have this summation of a, raised, a times r raised to k, k equals 1 to infinity equal to a over 1 minus r and then minus a. So we put this one from the left to the right and this is at the right side, a over 1 minus r. So they are almost same. Let us make the transformation. Let uh, we have k is equal to x and r is equal to this one a raised to t 1 minus p and we have the a is equal to 1 so if I try to transform this using this one we can have well let me have this one summation of a equals 1 and we have r which is a raised to t 1 minus p raised to x is k equals to x and this is x equals 1 to infinity and now this is a equals 1 over 1 minus a raised to t 1 minus p and minus 1. Now this one is same this one so we can substitute this one for this one so we have our moment moment generating function as p over 1 minus p then we have full of that is 1 minus e raised to t 1 minus p minus 1 okay so now we have equal to p over 1 minus p so we can make this one as a numerator and denominator for 1 and then we can have a common denominator as 1 minus e raised to t 1 minus p and this 1 minus this one 1 minus e raised to t 1 minus p then this one now we can simplify it p over 1 minus p and this one so 1 minus 1 is 0 so we're left with e raised to t and 1 minus p and this one is still 1 minus e raised to t and 1 minus p now we can cancel out 1 minus p here 1 minus p here also so we're left with p times e raised to t and this one is 1 minus e raised to t 1 minus p so we have our moment generating function for the geometric distribution with a form like this